Hello guys and welcome to part 6 on how to build your own quadcopter series. Now in this video we are going to configure the CC3D board that we have been talking about. So now I'm going to walk you through the step by step tutorial on how to configure this board but if you guys have some other board you need to find out other, other ways how to configure it. Now this board is pretty simple how to configure and pretty simple to hook up as well. We are also going to need the transmitter for this demonstration so be there. So now first guys get on your quad and first of all do not mount the CC3D at the start or because you just want to see that all of the connections reach over here. So until and unless you are good that the connections reach then go ahead and mount your CC3D. I am not going to be doing that now because I do not, I need to remove it and do some other projects as well. So the first thing is gonna now the CC3D. If you look closely, you're gonna get some other pins or the numbers. So now, guys, there are different models of the CC3D, but all the steps are the same. Steps for configuration is the same, and even the steps of how to hook it up is the same. Now, step number one is gonna be that. Go ahead and search for an arrow mark on the CC3D. Now I don't, I believe that you guys cannot see this, but there is a small arrow mark over here. If you guys don't know where the arrow mark is or cannot see it or your board does not have any, just go check on the USB port over here. So now always the arrow mark is going to be opposite to the USB port. So in turn the arrow mark should always come the the sorry the USB port should always go to the back of the quad. So now this is the back of the quad and this is the front. So I will obviously hook it up, mount the board like this. The next thing is gonna be that your white or brown wire on the ESC, depending on which ESC you have your board, it should be white or brown, not the black one. It should go towards the quad. So if this is the ESC, always hook up the white or black wire this way and you always want to start hooking it up from the from the first pin now how do you know it's the first pin well if you can see in this over here this part is less deeper than this one this has a bit more spacing over here and this has a bit less and if you put a bit of strain on your eyes and took this you can also find the digits saying 1 to 6 so now guys you always want to hook it up in this configuration 1 2 3, 4. So this should always go first. So I'm hooking it up. And then the next one that's going to be your front left first. Front right is going to be your second. Right back is going to be your third. And finally, last but not the least, the, the right, the back left is going to be your fourth. Now after you do that, you are going to get some plugs for the CC3D board. So now those plugs are going to be like this one right here. So now over here, you will see some different wires over here. Now guys, always take the plug that has the most number of wires and the longest bracket. So there are going to be three different sizes. Make sure that you get the longest bracket. First of all, hook up the bracket directly onto the board. Now, it only goes in one way, so do not worry. Now, I'm also going to send a link to the description of how to hook this to your transmitter, but it's generally the three side pin goes to channel number three, the blue pin goes to channel number one, Oops. and you might want to be careful with this because as you can see, they're very thin. Channel number two is going to be your yellow pin. And channel number four is going to be your green pin. Now if you have got more than one channel number two or channel number four, then always start seeing it from the black. So if you can see from the black here, I've always took the nearest. Oops, not this one. And yes guys, if you don't want to suffer like me, just, you know, get the cables and everything and all those stuff. 
Man, this thing gets tangled up a lot. Yeah, so now if you can see here, these two pins are coming out of the end. Always start from the black pin. So the first is going to be your black pin. So the black pin, red pin and the uh, yellow or uh, white pin are all going to be in the same row. So that should always go to channel number 3. The blue pin should go to channel number 1. Yellow pin, channel number 2 and green pin, channel number 3. I guess that's right. If I'm wrong, I'll put the link in the description below to tell you that I'm wrong. So, and then you've got to mount it. Now the other thing that you want to do while mounting this one is always mount it facing downwards. Always mount this thing facing downwards. Because if, because that ensures that it has a better signal. So mount it facing downwards and not upwards like this. In RC cars, you might have seen it go upwards because you are generally higher than the RC car itself. But here is the opposite case. So this should always go downwards. And then guys, the last thing that you, that's off I think for the hum. Wind it up part now, get a USB point to cable, fire on your laptop and now we're gonna and now I'm gonna switch over to the laptop and check out what and all you have to have to do to get this thing up and running on the laptop and get ready to fly this amazing quad. Now I'm again extremely sorry guys, as this was a last minute video. For a competition, I had forgotten to get any software before. So I was forced to use some free software and they had a watermark in it. So you guys will see something like a Bundy cam or something like that above. And I'm really, really sorry for that guys because at the time... So we are back guys and I'm gonna show you how... Now I'm gonna show you how to install the Libra Pilot software and configure the CC 3D board. So just go on a new tab and type Libra Pilot. Now go to the website librapilot.org and then go to their downloads. And the, the, it's gonna tell black vinyl over here but don't worry about that, this is just nothing. This is called the Libra Pilot. The actual one is the Libra Pilot. So. Yeah, so the operating system, they, they have a wide variety of operating systems, that's Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, that's the Linux one, and even Fedora. So yeah, see the one that works for you, and then download that. And yeah, if Windows says that it will harm your computer, it won't, just go and click OK. Now open this, and then... So yeah, some people who are confused over there uh, because there are a lot of things that say configure the CC3D board with only OpenPilot. Don't worry, LibraPilot and OpenPilot are the same thing. There was a problem with OpenPilot, that's why they shut it down and now there's this new thing called LibraPilot that's the same thing. It does the same thing. So yeah, click OK. Next, and then agree to the terms and conditions is basically the same thing. You can spend hours reading this but yeah just agree yeah so now the drivers that you want to install now first of all open palette should be installed i'm going to install my shortcuts and the aeroslim plugin so yeah do install the aeroslim plugin at it uh, gives you a lot of things and a lot of features and it plugs in the files see it says here aeroslim plugin uh, aeroslim rc plugin files with sample configuration so yeah you really need to install this one now i don't need think i don't think that you need these two drivers unless or until you're doing a virtual usb port or you know running a very very old pc that means a open gl driver is for only old pcs and old graphics cards so then click next and extract all of that so details and see there's like a lot of things are going on so yeah um open palette is the same thing as libra palette you can do the same thing for both so yeah just chill out don't worry and it's going and going and going and going and going and it's done i don't want to see read me one Libra Pilot, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. So yeah, 
now when you're doing this please make sure that you have connected uh, your cc 3d board to your laptop via a usb micro usb 0.2 cable uh, not the 0.4 not the one that works with your phone and also you have not connected your battery to the quad so the battery should be separate do not connect the battery to the quad that's a big mistake now let's go to vehicle setup wizard and if you can see the tx and rx things on green and a bit of yellow you're good if there's all of them are just gray or black that's a problem so go for vehicle setup wizard so yeah before you do this please remove all the propellers from your quadcopter if you have any propellers you are gonna cut yourself for sure then click next and yes you, you do want to erase all settings and upgrade it again as if you do not it's gonna result in undefined behavior in the worst case so yes say upgrade and erase all settings check that box and now that's gonna upgrade it, your settings and erase all the old ones now the other thing that is over here is you're again gonna see this black vino thingy is out but I don't recommend going and clicking on this and because I don't want to do all of this but this is good and the board will be erasing everything and it will be rebooting it so don't worry it's gonna boot the boot and reboot the boot and do all this stuff let it do what it wants to do do not unplug your CC3D as that's gonna be really very bad and then click next to proceed now yeah, I see it recognized your board. It says open pilot CC3D copter control and then uh, This is gonna now there are other boards that work with Libra pilot So check on that the other boards as well, but this works with me click next Your board is rebooting. Please wait. So do not do anything. Don't Yourself remove your USB and put it back again. It will do it by itself. Yeah, the next thing you want to do is get to know what connection type are you going to use between your RC receiver and the CC3D. Are you going to use the PWM, that's the most common one out there, or something else like a PPM, SBUS, STA, SRXL, HOT, or EXBUS, or IBUS. So, make sure that you're using the right bus on it or it's not going to be good. So click next, it's again going to reboot your board, don't worry, let it do what it needs to do. Yeah, so now, if you are following the tutorial series, all this default settings should work for you. And yeah, so go click on the multi voter because we are doing a quad, not a plane or a, you know, a car or something like that. So yeah, click next. Yes, now this is where people actually screw up a lot because they don't know if they're using a quadcopter X or a quadcopter plus. So a quadcopter X configuration will be like this is a front of the quadcopter and the wings are if that is a front of the quadcopter, there's not gonna be a arm directly in front of it, but at north west or northeast. So it's gonna be spreading out. And this is the quadcopter plus. So there's actually going to be a quad, uh, a pair, um, what do you call that, an arm in front and left and right. So please do check that. Now one more thing is when you're, in, when you're mounting the CC3D on the board, there should be a small arrow at the CC3D. So that should face the front of your board or if you can't find that arrow, the USB head uh, pin should face at the back of your board. Now click next. Yes, another thing is the ESE. So please check out what ESEs are you buying and is it a rapid ESE or a standard ESE? Now I'm going to go with the rapid ESE because I know that this one that I'm using is a rapid ESE but please do check that out. You can ask forms and also check out the data sheet itself to get to know if it's a rapid or a standard ESE. I'm going to click next. Okay, I missed this. Yeah, now this is the correction module. Correction, um, module. So now yeah, throttle is uh, throttle goes to um, channel three, roll goes to channel two, pitch goes to channel one, uh, channel sorry pitch goes to channel two and roll goes to channel one, 
and your goes to channel 4 so now this is a bit wrong over here but you can obviously use this I will show you at the end of this video how to configure it for this settings but if you guys are using uh, you know um, something that cannot be configured specifically then just um, then you know come at the last of the video and just watch that close and then next so now sensor calibration now when you are doing this make sure your quad is perfectly level level and even the CC3D is perfectly level. You do not want to shake. You do not want to shake your quadcopter or the CC3D or the wire that's going to the CC3D during this process, as it will offset your quad, and you're gonna see weird flight patterns when you press your sticks. So go and hit next. Oh, sorry. Calculate. Now give this some time. Let it calculate. So yeah, now it's going to come as done. So then go ahead and click next. And then now you have to calibrate the ESEs. So now before doing all of this, please, please, please remove the propellers from all the motors. If you have not, go and do that first. Now, the instructions are please confirm all safety questions. Press the start button when it becomes enabled. Connect the battery to your airframe that basically kind of give power to the quadcopter wait for the calibration beeps so the calibration beeps are gonna sound something like this T T T. so wait for that and then press stop then again there's gonna be a calibration beep that's gonna be T T T T T T. and then disconnect your battery now you don't have to disconnect your battery because you have to plug in your battery again for the next round so just leave your battery in there so I have removed all propellers from my vehicle, yes. My vehicle is not powered by any external source but the USB, yes. I have confirmed and have read, uh, have read and understood all the instructions in full, yes. So now I'm gonna hit start and connect uh, the battery to my ESC, the power cord. So yeah, that did you hear that? Did it, did it? So that's what I wanna hear. And click stop and then T read means it's done so now let's click next now this time you have to remove the uh, props or the quad is gonna start flying and you're gonna have injuries on your face click next now where you have to calibrate the output of all the motors you can also check if motors 1 and 3 are going clockwise and 2 and 4 should be going counterclockwise. If they are not, take two cables from the ESCs and just swap them over. Okay? Now, calibrate all motors at the same time. I like to do this as all my motors are the same. There are no differentiators. But you can do it one by one. They actually tell you to do it one by one. But I will just like this. So, hit start. Now, it's going to go to the 150, 160. Yeah, there you go. 156 is like... A standard thing for me and then the other thing that you can do is you know put on some what do you call that um, safety pins or something like anything that can indicate which uh, direction the motor is going and how fast it's going so you don't want to put this at the maximum speed of course or at something like that you want to put it fairly right where it starts so that's going to actually determine your starting point of the motor so 69 is where they all start spinning stably so I'm gonna click stop so this 69 is gonna be one uh, 1069 is gonna be when my motor is gonna start so then click next and yeah now this is another thing that open pilot lets you do it's uh, it lets you tune your uh, quad but I don't want to do this because I don't have any other frame but yeah, this is actually my frame. This is the, this is the offset of this frame, but uh, I don't want to get into this um, and search for all of that. So I'm gonna go just say current tuning and click next. Now you want to save everything onto your board and let it save. Let it reboot again. Take it up to a minute. No problem. 
and it's gonna be boot and done now the next thing that you need to do is transmit a setup wizard now I'm gonna pause the video over here because I need to hook up my transmitter so yeah just be right back so yeah we are back and um, after you have clicked on the icon of that nah, setup wizard you'll get a page like this and it's gonna come like setup is gonna do and uh, if you get a page like this one just click start transmitter setup wizard and you'll come in this so now this is gonna be always this disarmed so that's for our safety and we're gonna arm it up later next so okay now welcome to the input com uh, uh, configuration wizard so please see in the blah 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 let's go click next now here we need to uh, choose the mode so acro is for fixed wings of a quad we want to go with that next now this is another thing that you want to look up to like which channel uh, which mode is your thing going in so is your throttle and your stick that is the one without uh, that doesn't auto center by itself is that on the left hand side or the right hand side if it's on the right hand side then you might need to choose mode one I, that is only if you're a lefty but if you're a light a normal right handed person then go mode two and make sure that your throttle stick is on the on the left side that's the one the throttle stick is the one that does not auto center itself so yeah mode two is good now please move each of the controls one at a time so now let's move our throttle stick okay that's good our yaw stick a roll stick sorry our pitch stick and our roll stick so now i'm actually doing this so now we do not have any flight mode switch for now but if you guys are adding one just uh, flip that switch twice but as i'm not i'm gonna say next slash skip Again the same thing, same thing, same thing, and same thing. Now you want to position all your sticks at the center, including your throttle stick. Yes, every single stick should be at the center. And don't worry about the stop thing here, PWM import. Yeah, just don't worry about that. So everything at the center. Okay, that's good. But you guys don't need to worry about the top switches such as this, this and all these upper ones. If you don't even have them, that's perfectly okay. Make sure that your throttle, your yaw, your pitch and your roll are synced. Then click next. Now move them to the maximum positions. So just, you know, toggle around them and maximum positions and leave them and then click next. Now don't do anything over here because I don't know what's wrong with this version of a Libra pilot the version that I have installed of Libra pilot has some problem with it and cannot actually sync it so now I'm actually moving my throttle and yaw and roll stick all at the same time and there's nothing coming over there so I don't know if it was a mistake that we installed we didn't install those two drivers or uh, just if the thing the version is not stable and this is by the way 16.9 so I don't know but no, no worries you can always do this step at the end so then click next. Now you have completed the wizard. Please make your shakes move, blah, 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 but it's not moving. But hey, we are getting an input over here. So we are getting channel four, channel three, channel two, channel one. We are getting an input. So that's, so that's a good thing. That means it is working, but there's some, thick, there's some problem with this graphical user interface. So I don't know. There's some problem with the driver. Ah, screw it. Now, now this thing is going to be your arming settings. No. Huh. So yeah, so now for the arming, what you got to do is when you tilt your stick. So the actual thing to arm is your left. That's your actual arming things. So you, like now, for example, you're on the uh, you're on the field and by mistake, you just uh, flicked up the throttle switch and you didn't mean to and uh, your hand is near the battery and if you, and you don't want to get your hand cut so what you need to do is before you can fly the quad you have to put your 
your stick to the left so that's when it says armed so unless and until that happens it's not going to get armed and the motors are not going to work so it's very good to not do it always armed or always disarmed these are the worst options you can always go to now i personally like your left as it's the best one don't go to the accessories because we have not installed any accessories don't go to accessories stay away from that some one of these you know one two six things go any of them but your left is pretty standard and i like that now disarmed is done by the throttle off and in position of the opposite com uh, opposite of the above combination so you are right with throttle at zero means it's going to get disarmed now to dis now there's an arming timeout so after 30 seconds it's going to get disarmed you can obviously increase it but i like 30 and i'm going to keep it over there then hit save let everything get safe click it twice thrice no problem now we've got a hardware now we have no flexi port or you know any other port because we do not uh what we do not have a gps or a camera hooked up to it so we don't have this but if you are hooking up a gps or a camera please do go to this yeah yeah i don't want to save any changes no i now the output now this is where if you want to do a little bit of tweaking at the end you can do that and then this is rtt ah yeah now this is another calibration this is like the same thing what we did was calibration but it's better if you do this so i'm going to click okay now this is going to do go very fast and very smoothly and it's going to get done and is done save now another thing is stabilization now you need to do a little bit of your own thing on the proportional integral over here but it's basically if you leave it like this it's going to be good until and unless you're trying to do something that's too crazy ah okay, i don't know what is this yes now this is another thing that you need to p i and d so You know what some people if you like just beginning you don't know what the heck is PID stop don't enable P I R T X P I D module just leave it as it is and everything will go fine now, I want to proceed yes okay yeah so now this is a gimbal so what's a gimbal is it basically holds your camera so we don't have a camera so no gimbal no things nothing thank you Now that's it. Now another thing that you want that is very cool about this thing is all this stuff. So now this actually shows how where your quad is and what it's doing. So I've lifted my quad, tilted it. You know, now it's on level. Yeah. So it's all cool stuff, man. All very cool stuff. So yeah. Now this also shows where you are on the earth, but seriously guys, I'm not here. I'm more over here, but <laughs> yeah, considering that there's a roof above me, ah, it works. Now, I guess that's it. You got your CCTV ready. Go out there and start flying it. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining today, so I can't. But you guys can. So stop wasting time. Go out there. Start flying.